We are Fleming Forestry Technicians, and we will address three techniques of wooden house construction used in Canada. My name is Kevin Jackson. And my name is Jordan Vermaiden. The three techniques we will be discussing are stick frame or platform construction, timber frame or post and beam, and engineered wood products or EWP. The most commonly used uh, technique is the stick frame or platform. It is primarily used to build houses and relies heavily on the um, construction of interior load bearing walls. Some of the advantages of using this system are that it can be prefabricated and then assembled on site, like so, or um, that, and the other advantages sorry, are that builders and contractors all know the system very well. In fact, you probably all have seen this system used. And because of that, they're much more comfortable to use it in building. This combined with the materials used makes it very cheap to build. The disadvantages to using stick frame, however, are that it uh, creates a large amount of waste on site and uh, it's also very difficult to insulate. Uh, the biggest disadvantage is that it's uh, architecture constrained and that it uses small wood and so it's not possible to create large open spaces or cantilevers. And now we're going to discuss the post and beam method, uh, which is similar to the uh, timber frame, but uses mechanical fasteners um, and uses larger dimensions of lumber, such as 4x4s, 6x6s, or even into 8x8s and 12x12s. Um, the main difference between post and beam construction and stick, and stick frame construction is the fact that post and beam does not require internal load-bearing walls which allows for uh, building and the architectural freedom of high cathedral ceilings, large open spaces. If uh, internal support is required, uh, the support will come from uh, point support to the posts placed throughout the structure. Bolt plates or mortise and tenon joints, as you can see up here, are, connect, are used to connect the beams, which is what separates it from a true timber frame. Features of the post and beam construction allow for an incredible range of creative design options, making it an attractive method for custom home building. Like stick frame construction, there is an abundance of ready building material in Canada. But as mentioned earlier, contractors prefer the tried and true method of stick frame construction that they're accustomed to, and costs are also higher due to the dimensions of the lumber and the skill required to construct post and beam. So the third method that we are discussing today are engineer wood products, or EWPs. And this is the most modern of varied techniques. Uh, engineer wood products are commonly used in conjunction with other techniques that we've mentioned today, um, such as making beams built with wood fibers and adhesives that are stronger than the raw wood that you would normally get. Uh, they can also be built on their own uh, using methods such as structural insulated panels. Or, you can see the bricks behind me, which are like most normal concrete bricks, except they're a lot lighter and a lot stronger because they use wooden fibers inside the bricks themselves to uh, help hold the concrete together and improve its strength. Um, EWP's uh, biggest advantage is that they're able to improve upon what we already have and um, it uses materials that would have otherwise just been waste products. So those were three wooden house construction techniques used in Canada, each uh, as, as demonstrated with its own advantages and disadvantages. Thank you for watching our video. 